and uh, it's Saturday morning, and uh, what's that? April 25th, and I'm just trying to do a, a little recap on what's been going on the last couple of days, and what I can say is that uh, Trump, within the last last two days, has basically lost the election in the last two days with his uh, his rambling and his stupid statements that he's been making. Two stupid statements in particular that uh, have cost him this election. And uh, man, I can only ring the bell so many times and celebrate that. You know, uh, stupidity number one was when he came out with the, uh, the topic of trying to use disinfectant internally having people use infect, disinfectant internally to kill the coronavirus. That's stupidity number one that he uh, trying to spin and say, oh, I was just joking. No, you wasn't. You said it. You said it. You meant it. And uh, now you got to pay for it. And stupidity number two is the idiotic claims that, he's, that, he's, uh, uh, that he just made about the U.S. Postal Service talking about the U.S. Postal Service being a joke when in reality he's the joke. You're the biggest joke that, that ever set foot in the White House. And the thing about it is, see, the U.S. Postal Service, first of all, is uh, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not part of the government as, you would, that, as they would uh, have you think. The Postal Service basically runs itself on the revenue that it creates for itself and uh, the ties that you have between the Postal Service and the government is that the government regulates the uh, prices that the US Postal Service charges for things when they when they need to when they have to they have to go before a government board in order to request raises or increases on the prices so uh, the thing and the second thing that ties them the uh, United to the basically to the Treasury Department is that the Postal Service literally buys the stamps from the Treasury Department. So the Treasury Department prints the stamps, and the U.S. Postal Service buys the stamps from the Treasury Department. Those are the connections. So people, when people say, "Oh, the the, the Postal Service, you know, they're a strain to this and that on the government," no, that's the farthest thing from the truth. That is not the truth. The, post, the Postal Service uh, uh, transitioned over in 1970 from the uh, U.S. Post, post Office to the Postal Service in 1970. And in 1985, they transferred from, uh, from uh, uh, what's the name of that? Civil Service, U.S. Government Civil Service job over to the... Uh, uh, the FERS, which is a a, a a a federal situation, so therefore they're they're not. It's not a government job anymore. It used to be a government job. It used to be, but it's not. It's no longer a uh, government job. However, you know you got a lot of regulations that are intertwined with the government, but it's basically a for-profit business, and uh, they're self-sustained. Now they went to the treasury the other, uh, there a few weeks ago and they asked for a loan from the treasury. So if they were part of the government, they wouldn't have to ask for a loan just like other small businesses, other businesses are asking for loans. They wouldn't have had to ask for a loan if they were part of the government. So uh, basically uh, you had, you had a, a U.S. Postal Service that was started by Ben Franklin, but now you got an attempt by the D.C. Dunce to destroy the Postal Service and try to turn it over. What he really want to do is try to turn it over and make it like private, private, have some of his cronies end up trying to buy it and make it turn it into private business, a private industry. And when they do that, what would end up happening is uh, $10, $10 stamps on envelopes, $30 to mail a package, uh, you know, you talk about rates that are going to have to have to go up. They're going to they're going to have to go up exponentially because you cannot 
create, recreate what's already been, re that's already been created. It's already there. It already exists. So why would you want to destroy it and try to have to build it all over again unless you had some ulterior motive? So the, the, the U.S. Postal Service itself could be out of debt today. And listen to this and quote what I'm saying word for word. The U.S. Postal Service could be out of debt today if federal government, local governments, state governments would pay the U.S. Postal Service what it owes the U.S. Postal Service for all that free mail that the, that the government gets. That's right, free letters. The free letters that they've been getting for decades. If they were to pay that bill, it would be in the trillions of dollars. Plus, you got elections coming up, so therefore, all that, all those ballots, all, all the, all the, uh, the, the mail that all your, all your city uh, politicians are going to be sending out that those letters to your house talking about vote for them. Trump is going to be sending his stuff out. Vote for me. That's all free. That's free government political mail. So if they pay for their political mail, that would automatically, automatically put the Postal Service in the black. Pay your bills, man. Pay your doggone bills. So, like I said, I'm going to say that again. For decades, your, your, your federal, state, and local governments have been getting free political mail, and they're getting it today, free political mail. Pay what you owe, and then we won't have to come to the treasury and ask for a loan. Now, this is this. I'm gonna read this story here about the uh, idiot, idiot 45 on Friday threatened to block an emergency loan to the show up the U.S. Postal Service unless it dramatically raised shipping prices on online retailers and unprecedented move to seize control of the agency that uh, uh, and now. Analysts said could plunge it into financial deeper hole. So that's what he stated. He said the U.S. Postal Service is a joke. Uh, uh, to obtain a ten billion dollar line of credit, Congress approved this month. The post office should raise the rates, raise the rates of packaging by approximately four times. This is what the D.C. Dunce just said. Trump for years has alleged the Postal Service has charged too little for packages and personally pushed the head of the agency to change far more to ship goods, to charge far more to ship goods for big online retailers. Several administration officials speaking on condition of anonymity have said uh, Trump's po criticism of postal service rates is rooted in, in a, his desire to hurt Amazon in particular. They have said that he fumes publicly and privately at Amazon's founder Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post, for news coverage that Trump believes is unfair. But raising USPS prices so sharply may not have the impact that the president desires, an analyst said, as it would put postal service prices far above those of UPS and FedEx, allowing them to raise their prices a little and still gain the market share. This is about uh, catastrophically stupid, an idea that anyone could ever imagine, ever imagine, as if anyone from Amazon to the local mom and pop delivery businesses would ever put up uh, put up with a rate increase like that when they have alternative. Retailers and consumers are heavily heavily rely on the U.S. Postal Service during the pandemic to deliver goods, uh, as brick and mortar stores are temporarily closed. Trump's proposal would could hit Amazon harder than any other shipping companies because it cannot as easily pass costs on to consumers. It also contracts more with the U.S. Postal Service for last-minute service or deliveries between warehouses and homes. Sidebar right quick. The U.S. Postal Service is the only business, the only business in the United States that delivers to every single household, business, warehouse, factory, government office, in the whole entire United States. So therefore you can put a 50 cent uh, postage on a letter in Miami and mail it to Alaska for 50 cent. Where else can you do that? Back to the story. Since uh, price in increase would 
also heard a broad swath of businesses uh, raising the rates like that on the postal service, which is a thinly veiled attempt to get at Bezos, will merely result in Amazon and other shippers moving their business. It will kill the postal service. So the post office has not taken federal funding since 1970, operating instead from revenue it raises from stamp sales and other products. But it has struggled since first class mail plummeted in the internet era and is burdened by a congressional requirement to pre-fund his health benefits and retired retired employees. So, uh, where's the Nancy Pelosi story here? What? Let me see her her uh, article. What she had said. She had made a, a statement about him. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the president was trying to starve the postal service so he and his allies can turn it over to a private company. Right now, I see a big danger for our country in the form of administration interest in privatizing the post office. This is just about somebody on the outside making money off the post office instead of recognizing the important role it plays. Under the $2.3 trillion coronavirus stimulus relief passed last month, the Treasury was authorized to loan $10 billion to the U.S. Postal Service, which says it may not be able to make payroll and continue to mail service uninterrupted past September. Treasury Secretary uh, Mnuchin rejected a bipartisan Senate proposal to give the Postal Service a bailout amid the uh, negotiations over the, uh, that legislation. A senior Trump official and a congressional official previously told the Post. Any decision on higher package rates as a condition of the Treasury's loan would be up to the agency's board of governors, which currently has five Senate confirmed members appointed by Trump. If you raise the prices by 400%, people are no longer going to be able to mail packages or they will move the Postal Service competitors. And uh, so this he's, he's trying to destroy the Postal Service and, and that's all because of him having a grudge against Jeff Bezos, which is just happened to be a self-made billionaire something that he's not he's a uh, uh uh you know been getting all that money man getting all those loans and stuff from his father to create wealth and uh you know this guy bezos you know is doing what he got to do man he's handling his business trump is a, is a joke he's the joke he just think about this if he just just threatened the postal service that's six hundred fifty thousand employees that's in a nutshell 650,000 votes that you won't be getting in November. Uh, well, give or take 25 or 30,000 idiots out there that are going to follow you regardless. So let's say 600,000. Let's say 600,000 out of 650. That's 600,000 votes you're going to lose. Not only that, you're going to lose millions, hundreds of millions of votes of the people that rely and depend on the U.S. Postal Service. For, for medication, for checks they get in the mail, for letters, just old people just getting letters from their grandkids. So you attacking the Postal Service, you just lost your, your bid for re-election. Peace.